Hi, it's Ollie from GetGeek, and today I'm going to do a video to show you how to add a Divi, uh, a child theme in Divi, uh, the really easy way. Um, now, I may do a video um, after this one to show you how to do it the manual way, but I mean, for most people who don't want to get stuck in with code, this is uh, by far the easiest way. Um, so, you may want to add a child theme for many reasons. So, you basically, um, if you're planning on editing uh, loads of CSS and you want it all in one area or say for example you uh, want to start editing some of the PHP files and you don't want them to be overwritten when the Divi theme actually gets updated um, then you'll probably want to use a child theme um, so uh, yeah uh, let's get stuck in and I'll show you how to do that so basically uh, what you want to do is go to this website here that I already have open uh, which is um, elegant marketplace uh, child theme maker now um, I'll put the link for this down below the video um, so this makes it ridiculously easy to create a child theme so uh, other ways you'd have to edit a few files manually which we will go into um, on another video um, but then it, it means going into C panel and all the rest of it um, so for basic users it may not be what you want to do. So what you want to do is with this website is uh, basically putting your company name here. So I'm going to go get geek um, and it is for the Divi theme. Um, I'm going to go for version 0.1. Um, again, you have to put in your company name again or your name. Um, and then basically you want to put in your URL. Now these details just kind of go into uh, one of the files that creates the theme. Um, now, you may want to put in a screenshot. Um, I don't have a proper size screenshot, but I do have a logo, so it may look a bit funny when we go into the, the theme afterwards, but we'll have a look. Um, now, uh, what you want to do is create Get New Child theme. And there you go, so that's now done that. So I'm going to put that into here. Um, so there's one I actually made earlier. So I'm just going to save over the top of that. Um, and then that downloads pretty quickly. Now, then you want to go to your website. Now, you can see my website here is running as normal. Um, this is just one on my local host. Um, you then want to go to your themes. And then you want to go to add new. Once you're in here, you want to go to upload theme. Choose file. And pick your zip file here. Now, we're going to go install now. And there you go. So I'm going to activate that as well. And there you go. So now you can see our little child theme here. As you can see, the, the logo is a bit off. And uh, but I mean, if you want to do it properly, you could do that in like Photoshop or on something else, like paint on that. Um, and then basically now, if we preview our site, you can see it looks all the same. Um, I mean. Or with one benefit of actually using this uh, EMP Elegant Marketplace child theme maker is you get all these uh, built-in additional social icons so that is an extender on my video I showed the other day um, where basically you can enable them quite easily now by going into your theme options down here um, and now you've got loads of them already pre-installed um, but yeah now if going back to the child theme if you ever want to edit the uh, edit the code, you go to here in appearance and then theme editor, and then you can put all your CSS here, um, and it, there's all the details that we populated into the website, um, and then basically if you want to edit the functions.php, which some more advanced users may want to do, then you can do that here, and it won't get overwritten when uh, Divi is updated. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, to be honest. Um, if you've uh, enjoyed this video, please give it a, a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you want to support the channel, there is an, a link to, uh, an affiliate link to the Elegant Themes uh, website where if you decide to upgrade your package or buy a new package because you don't have one, then we will get a kickback. Um, it's, if you want to see any more videos, uh, tutorials, then let us know in the comments uh, what you specifically want to see. Um, it's been Ollie from Get Geek. Thanks. Bye.